Hi everyone, I'm Mark the Friendly Board Gamer and welcome to the Marvel Champions Challenge. If you've not seen any of my videos, what I decided to do is challenge myself to play every hero and defeat every villain in the game of Marvel Champions. And today we are playing Steve Rogers, you may also know as Captain America. And he is going to take on Taskmaster, Taskmaster Stage 1 and 2. Taskmaster is one of the villains from the Rise of Red Skull um, expansion box. Um, for Captain America, we are playing with the protection aspect today, so we've got quite a lot of healing cards in there. Um, some uh, some cards that like Indomitable that lets me ready my hero after defending. We've got some momentum ship that lets me heal some damage and deal some damage. I am faced with some allies. Basic research and more med teams. Um, some momentum shifts. Uh, what else have we got in here? Some counter punch. After I defend, I can deal damage to the enemy equal to my hero's attack. And Captain America's shield, of course. Unflappable and some more momentum shifts. That's what we're playing with today. The um, card list or the deck list will be in the show notes, so be sure to check that out if you are interested in further information. So we have. Steve Rogers here on 11 health, Taskmaster. I'm going to give his deck a shuffle up. We have the um, Hydro Patrol and Standard Encounter Set along with the Weapon Master as a modular encounter set. And we've got the Hunting Down Heroes main scheme here. As part of setup, we need to set aside the captive allies, which are these. We have four captive allies. These will potentially come out during the game if a relevant scheme comes out. But for the moment, we will just set them aside and we will see if they come into play later on. Also, as part of setup, we need to set up a Hydra Patrol side scheme. This has got a crisis icon, so we have to defeat this before we can start removing threat from the main scheme. And that comes on with two threat. So, what is going on? So, Hunting Down Heroes, the notorious Taskmaster, has been appointed Hydra's Chief of Police. His top priority is hunting down the outlaw heroes. So this comes on with one threat. It's also got a resp first response as well. So if I'm in hero farm, I have to place an additional one threat on here or take a damage. Taskmaster has got one scheme and to attack. He's also got a first response. After I change from alter ego to hero farm, I discard the top card of the encounter deck and take damage equal to the number of boost icons on that card. So that is set up. Let's get on with it. And my hand size is six. So I will draw up to six, five, and six. I will t first take a look at these, see if any of these we want to mulligan before we start. Um, and then we will see what we got. So Steve's apartment, I can exhaust this, draw a card and heal one damage. Uh, counter punch, after my hero defends against an enemy attack, I can deal damage equal to my hero's attack. Power of protection, heroic strike, deal six damage. And if pay for his card using a physical risk, I can stun the enemy. I've got Agent 13 as a um, age, as a ally. She lets me remove two threats from a scheme when she comes into play, which could be useful if we get rid of that. And also uh, Shield Toss. I can discard X cards from my hand, then return Captain Maker's Shield from play to my hand and deal four damage to X enemies. So I think first off, I might get, I think I might keep all of these actually. I quite like all of them. Um, Steve Rogers has one last thing for setup. I can search my deck and discard power for my shield and I can add it to my hand. So I obviously don't have a discard power, so my shield will be somewhere in here. Captain America does a lot of cool stuff with his shield, so we need to have that before we can do anything. So where are you, shield? Shield block. Captain America shield. I'll just give this a shuffle. we go, so Captain America's shield um, basically gets me plus one defense and also gets me retaliate. So let's go and see what we can do. So I think first off I am going to play my shield because having my shield is very crucial for my um, my plans I think. Um, what to do? I of course I've got a, an ability as Steve Rogers. I can reduce the cost of the first ally played each round by one. So I could get Agent Thirteen out for two. 
Um, but I also like Heroic Strike as well, which I can't do all of these. So I think I might keep Heroic Strike for the moment. Um, and I might play Agent 13. So this only cost, going to cost me two. So I'm going to play Power Protection and Shield Toss to pay for that. So Agent 13 will come in with three health. And after Agent 13 enters play, remove two threats from a scheme. So we're going to get rid of this. And when this is defeated, I search the encounter deck and discard power for a Hydra minion and put into play and engage with me. So a Hydra minion, we've got a Hydra soldier there. So I'm going to shuffle that up. And that will come in with four health. And he also has guard. And when he's defeated, I get an encounter card. So I need to defeat him before I can defeat him, similar to what I had here with the crisis icon, but for, for damage. So I think I'm going to flip to hero from, and when I do, I need to discard the top card of the deck and take damage equal to the number of boost icons, which is zero. Um, I don't think this boost icon happens here. I think this is just if it's being played in the um, as an encounter card. So Captain America, uh, two thought to attack, two defense. He can also, I can also discard a card from my hand to ready him up um, once per turn. So do I want to get rid of, because I could um, attack him and discard a card to attack him again. Um, which I could do, I think I might do that. I think I'm going to attack for two. Move two off and I'm going to discard counter punch to ready Captain America back up. So action, discard one card from your hand, which I've done, ready Captain America limit once per round. Then deal two more damage and get rid of the Hydra Soldier, clearing the way to deal with this main scheme and eventually dealing with Taskmaster. I still have Agent 13, um, so you might as well attack for one. That as well. Okay, Captain America has a hand size of five, so one, two, three, and five. So I've got some genius resources. Get behind me. When a treachery card is revealed from the encounter deck, cancel its when revealed effects and the villain attacks me instead. I have some more my armored vest, which gives me some more armor. And also more defense, so it gives me plus one defense. So that will come in nicely with my one defense here for my shield and another heroic strike. Okay, so first off, one threat on the main scheme. So I can choose now to either add a threat or take a damage. So I think I'll add a threat. Uh, yeah, I think I'll add another one here because I've got Agent 13 here that can move two. So then Taskmaster's going to attack me for two. I'm not going to... Uh, I suppose I could defend. What else do I have in my hand? Look, strike. Plus my defense. Uh, I think I'm just going to just take this. So you can take me for two, three, four. So I will lose one, two, three, four. Seven. Uh, then I'll get an encounter card, which says captured by Hydra. So this is where the captured allies come in. So this is a side scheme, comes in with five threat. Uh, oh yeah, five threat. And one of these captive allies will be placed face down underneath there. And when I remove the threat from here, I get that card in my hand, which is pretty nifty. Ew. <clears throat> what I think I'm going to do is get a heroic strike out. I'm going to pay for it with a two cost energy resource and another heroic strike because that's the physical resource I need to stun Taskmaster. So that's going to deal six damage to an enemy. And if you pay for this card using a physical resource, which I did, I get to stun that enemy. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I think I'm gonna play my armored vest with my get behind me. That does mean I can't get rid of that this turn, but I think that's okay. I think that's fine. 
So uh, Captain America is going to thwart for two. And. Mm -mm. Oh, I should have had a retaliate here as well. So when he attacked me on the last round, I should have had another damage off him. So he should be on five. Then, yeah, Agent 13 is going to scheme for two. So there's what that captured ally. I really want that in my hand. So I will ready everybody up. One, two, three, four, and five. So now I have defense, base defense of two, three, and four. So quite a lot of defense there. So one threat on the main scheme. I'll put another one on. It's a five, eight, it's possible 12. So, oh, and also I need another one here because it's got an acceleration token. I didn't realize that. So I'll put a three on there. Let me move to six, halfway there. So Tasmas is going to attack me because he's stunned. The stun card goes away. And then he deals me Deals me and then counter card. Oh, another capture by Hydra. We've got two of these out now. Two minions there. Two allies, sorry. And another five threat on that scheme. Okay, so over to me. Um So we have a counter punch, an indomitable, that's pretty good. So when I defend, I can ready my hero by discarding this. This gives me plus one thwart until the end of the phase and I get to draw a card. Okay. I sort of want some of these out, but I also need to bear that threat in mind as well. So I think I will. Mm. Yeah, if I play Fearless Determination, Captain America gets plus one thwart until the end of the phase and I draw a card. And Night Nurse uses three medical counters, exhaust the Night Nurse and remove one medical counter from her, heal one damage from a hero and discard one status card from it. But I have to have the status card attached to me to be able to discard that because it's got the arrow, which means you have to do the things after the arrow. So I'm going to thwart for three. Might seem a bit daft taking off this one, but I can get rid of this as well by using Agent 13. Remove the two threat. So Agent 13 has gone, unfortunately. But they captured by Hydra. This goes out of the game. This never comes back in. And I get a Moon Knight, which gives me two thwarts and two attack. Three health. And after a Moon Knight, I can spend a world resource to draw two cards. I don't have any of them. But he's a free cost ally, so I'm definitely going to get him out. Comes on with three. And I think I will. I'm just going to move that over there. So remind me that I need to get rid of that at the end of the phase. Um, I think I'm going to exhaust Moon Knight for Thwart for two to get rid of this one. Again, captured by Hydra goes out the game. And gets another ally, which is Shang Chai or Shang Chi. Two thwarts, two attack, three health, another zero cost ally. Uh, oh, yes. Do I have one of them? Oh, I do. Good. So I'm going to play that. Uh, one, two, three. After you play Shang Chai from your hand, spend an energy resource to stun an enemy. I think I'm going to discard Shield Tuss. Tussmaster is stunned again. Uh, I think I'm going to do a bit of thwarting. Uh, remove two threat from the main scheme. I will then. Hmm, mm, 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 what should we do? I uh, quite like Indomitable. After your hero defends, discard Indomitable, ready my hero. Uh, after you have defend against an attack, deal damage equal to. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to play, I'm going to get rid of the Night Nurse to play Indomitable. I'm going to put that down here. Let's so see that there. Um, and I think I will keep the rest in my hand. Or do I want to ready up and do some damage? Um, I, could, I could discard my strength, but two resources just to ready up. To do two damage. Doesn't feel like it's worth it, because he is stunned anyway, so... 
yeah, I think I'm going to keep holding it for the moment. I'm ready to open up my fearless determination girls at the end of the phase, which is now. Rearrange these here. And then I've got two cards, so I'll draw another three. One, two, three. So I got the med team, um, which lets me exhaust med team and remove one medical counter till two, the deal two damage, heal two damage to your character. Um, which is pretty good. My super soldier serum, nice and easy to say. I can exhaust this to generate a might resource, a physical resource. And momentum shift. Oh, heal two damage from your hero, deal two damage to an enemy. Pretty good. Quite like all of them. Got some good options there. So, main phase of the villain. He's going to put one threat on the scheme, on the main scheme, and then I'm going to put another one on because I'm in hero form. I don't want to take the damage. Taskmaster is going to attack me because he's stunned, it doesn't do anything, and then we get an encounter card, which is a Hydra Hunter. Um, health of three. And Hydra Hunter's attacks gains piercing and ranged. Well, there you go, two scheme and two attack. Okay, so three, 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 three. He's on five. Um, what have we got? Quite like the med team. Quite like momentum shift. I quite like all of these, to be honest. What is the most? Important. So I could play them two for my med team, but then I can't play my momentum shift. So perhaps I use that to pay for my momentum shift and keep these in my hand for next time. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Use my strength resources to play a mental shift. I can heal two damage from your hero, deal two damage to an enemy. So I will heal two damage. So go up to nine. Now, do I take out the Hydra Hunter or do I take out Taskmaster? I think I'm going to take out the Hydra Hunter. Let me keep the minions, minions down. Uh, I've got my two allies here. What shall I do with them? Well, I could do a bit of thwarting. I could only four thwart, four threat in total. Yeah, I'm going to use these to keep the threat down. I'll remove two each, which is four. Um, and then I can attack with Captain America to get rid of the minion, finally. Two attack for one health seems a bit of a waste, but... Now, could I spend this? Could I spend this to ready up? I could do. Again, for two. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to discard Super Soldier Serum to ready Captain America. And I'm going to attack for another two. Taskmaster stage one is down to three. And we're ready, everybody up. I've got my allies here. I've got two cards. Three, four, five. So I've got another, oh, I've got an Avengers Mansion, another Super Soldier Serum, and another Momentum Shift. So one threat on the main scheme, because I'm in Hero Farm, I'll place another threat. So Taskmaster is going to attack me now. He's going to attack me for two plus a boost. I think I'm going to defend against that. So I have two, three, four defense. So I'm going to defend two from the two plus two boosts is four. So I don't take any damage. I do get retaliate for one. After your hero defends, discard indomitable to ready my hero. I'm going to do that. So I'm ready up, ready for next turn. And I think. I remember rightly. Yeah, I can play Counterpunch, the three cost event, response attack. After your hero defends against an enemy attack, which I just did, deal damage to that enemy equal to your hero's attack. So I deal another two damage. 
do Taskmaster, which takes stage one out. So Taskmaster stage two, he comes into play with 16 health. 16, there you go. And I get an encounter card. So the timing of that may probably could have been done better, but hey ho. Um, he did attack me and he's going to deal me another encounter card plus this encounter card. So I've got two to go, go against. So the first one is Taskmaster's training camp. Taskmaster only accepts the best troops into his police force. Before a Hydra soldier can enlist, they must survive his training camp. Force response after a minion enters play, give it a tough status card. And this also has an encounter card, which means I deal another one of them each turn. Only two, two threat though, so that's not too bad. I could really do with getting rid of that um, pretty quick. Uh, the next encounter card is Hunted by Hydra. Insight 1, when this card is revealed, place one threat on the main scheme. Okay. Um, one threat, not a five. And when revealed, each player in hero form takes one damage and discards one card from their hand. One card at random from their hand. So I'll take the one damage. We have a very quick turn, I think, with only three cards. We got oh, momentum shift. I quite like that one, but never mind. Okay, so that was the encounter cards done. Back to me now. So, I don't have a lot to do. I can't afford Avengers Mansion. I can't afford the Med Team. But I could play my Super Soldier Serum to generate a physical resource, which I think I will do. Use my two cards as my resources. And. <laughs> I'm going to use Captain America to thwart and remove the threat from there. I could attack for two and two for four to remove them, or I don't want to keep these for defense. I'm quite good at defending, and I can rid myself up, so I don't think I need to. I think I will thwart for two with Moon Knight and attack for two with Shang Chai. So. Them two allies have gone into my discard pile. Um, how much yet? Did I get the retaliate? No, I didn't do the retake because I took him out of retaliate. Yeah. Okay. So back to draw that to my hand at five. One, two, three, four, five. What cards do we have? Heli carry Iron Fist ally. Oh, he comes into play with two Mystic Counters. When Iron Fist attacks an enemy, remove one Mystic Counter and stun the enemy and deal one damage to it very useful another heroic strike good another mental shift good and unflappable after you defend against an attack and take no damage exhaust unflappable draw a card very good first it is taskmaster's turn so two threat on the main scheme so one for the normal and one for the force response because i'm in hero form it's a five now he would then attack me for two i will defend against this Three, so I take no damage and I get retaliate. And but I can't ready up because I have nothing else that does it. But I did have two defense, another one, and another one which is four. Then an encounter card. I don't think I had anything that could ready me up, did I? Uh, no, nope, that's an upgrade. So encounter card, Hydra Soldier with guard. These minions are just slowing me down. When defeated, I get an encounter card. Um, I don't want to get out a lot of these cards, but hmm. <laughs> I think I'm going to, can I do this? One, two, three. If I generate that to play for that, I then only have yeah, I can't do that. So I'm trying to get out my Iron Fist and... I get an Iron Fist. Oh, I don't have enough cards then, do I? One, two, three, yeah. I wanted to get Iron Fist and Unflappable. Okay, let's keep Iron Fist for the moment. Let's play... I'm going to play Unflappable anyway. Swap them on some upgrade together by generating a might, a physical resource. 
I'm going to bring it unflappable. Then I'm going to play momentum shift another one with. Really want to get iron fist date for that stunning. So I'm going to discard my heroic strike. Oh, 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 oh. it's very. Problem is, I want to play both of these six damage when he's on twelve. I'll bring him down by half, but iron fist will stun him. That will stun him for one round. So actually, I think I might keep heroic strike and play them two to bring out mental shift. It lets me heal two damage. So I'm now back up to ten, pretty much full health. And I can deal two damage to an enemy. So I'm going to deal two damage to the soldier because I have to. Hmm. I really want to get rid of that soldier, which I can do if I discard my hero strike. But six damage. Oh, it's so. Yeah, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it. Ready everything up. Draw up to five. One, two, three, four, five. So uh, that's my hook. Should I got another counter punch? Got shield block. When you will take any amount of damage, exhaust Captain America's shield, prevent all of that damage. That's good. I think I might get that out. Well, it's an event card, so I play that when he attacks. A two genius resource card and get behind me, which I can cancel a when revealed and be attacked instead. So, one threat on the main scheme, followed by another one. Let's just swap them three over there. So, at six, seven. Then, Taskmaster is going to attack me for two. Do I want to defend? Um, yeah, I think I, I think I might defend against him actually. Because if I defend against, if I take the damage for Taskmaster, I can block that with shield block. And when the Hydra Sword attacks me, I can defend against that. He's going to do it for two damage, but I defend for four. He gets retaliate, but I can also play a counter punch, which after my hero defends against an enemy attack, deal damage. That enemy equal to your hero's attack. So that will get rid of him. Yeah, okay. So Taskmaster is going to attack me for two plus the beast, which I'm not going to defend against. So just the two. Oh, that sort of seems a waste then, doesn't it, to prevent all of that damage? I think I'm just going to take it. Keep my shield block for when I really need it. I'll take that too. But he does get retaliate. Because retaliate is not an attack, so it ignores the guard. Now the Hydra Soldier is going to attack me for two. I am going to defend. I've got a defense of four. And retaliate. And also I'm going to play counterpunch just to get rid of him. After your hero defends against an enemy attack, deal damage to that enemy equal to your hero's attack. So he goes, leading the way for me to attack Taskmaster. Okay, and that was his attack. So now an encounter card. Oh, another Hydra Soldier with guard. Come on. Oh, I decided... Oh, I also needed an encounter card as well for... This Hydra Soldier, which will trigger now. Oh, blinky neck. So, anyway, another encounter card. Combat knife, attached to the villain. Attached to the villain's attacks gain piercing. And I can spend, and also gives it a plus one attack, but I can spend the physical and mental resource to discard this card. Ah, uh, oh, I can also, after I defend against an attack and take no damage, which I did against him, I can exhaust unflappable to draw a card. I would still be exhausted. Okay, over to me. It's frustrating that that didn't, that he came out. Oh, oh, oh. oh well. Okay, I'm going to play my next Indomitable for Get Behind Me. Um. I wanted to just use my six to get rid of him straight away. I'm gonna give me another encounter card. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. 
Okay, do I just get rid of him? Might seem a bit wasteful, but I think I'm gonna exhaust a physical resource. Use my two genius resource and play heroic strike to deal six damage to an enemy. I would stun him, but he's gone. Fed up with them Hydra soldiers coming out and using guards, stopping me attacking him. Three, six, seven out of 12 on here. I think that's okay. I could discard my shield block to remove two, because that could wreck up quite quickly. Yeah, as much as it's gonna hurt, I'm gonna discard shield block to ready up and then remove two from there. Okay. Ready, everybody up. One, two, three, four, five. Almost through my deck. Another med team, another indomitable. I got my helmet, which when I would be um effective when I would be defeated, I can set my doubt to one instead, then discard this card. Fair protection and another shield, but I was lucky. I just discarded one of them. I'm glad I got that back. So there's two threats back on the main scheme. Three, four, five, six, seven. Um, Taskmaster is going to attack me for 2 plus 3. I'm going to defend against this. 3, I've got 4 defense. Um, so it's 3, 4, 5. So I am taking some damage. I'm taking 1 point of damage. Um, this doesn't apply. After your hero defends, discard indomitable, ready my hero. So the flop all doesn't happen because I need to take no damage and I took two. Then I get an encounter card. Oh, Shadows of the past of all the times that come out. Oh, my nemesis Baron Zemo is coming out and his side scheme is coming out. These all get shuffled in. Well, Taskmaster, you are proving a challenge today. So, Hit Squad comes on with three threats. So it has the acceleration token, so one additional threat to be put on there. Um, in play order, each player discards a top card of the encounter deck and takes one damage for each boost icon discarded this way. One. Um, Baron Zemo comes on with five health. He also has quick strike, um, which means that he will attack me straight away for three. I am going to defend against that, so I'll take no damage. Um, oh, I also should have had retaliate on the Taskmaster as well for the attack that did me one damage. And um, so. Baron Zemo is attacking me for three. I've got two, three, four defense. I retaliate, so it takes one off there. And after you defend against attack and take no damage, exhaust this and draw a card. So of all the times for my shadows of the past to come out, that was not a good one. Okay. So I could play a few options here. Really need to get rid of him if I can't, but I don't think I can get rid of him this turn. So do we get rid of this as well? This acceleration token is a little bit. Oh, while Baron Zemo is engaging me, I cannot thwart. Okay. So in that case, I will play my Indomitable again for my helmet. And I think I'm going to play my med team um, for Fearless Determination and my Power of Protection because it counts as two and it's a protection card. So this comes on with three um, medical counters. So there's the three counters on there. Um, I can exhaust this and heal two damage. All right, so up to eight. Okay. Oh, I could have um, used this instead of my fearless determination. So yeah, I'm gonna use that as a resource instead of using that one. 
And I think that's everything. Uh, I can also, actually, I will discard that fearless determination then to ready up Captain America and attack for two. End of my turn, ready for up. One, two. Shuffle up my deck. Three, four, five. I also have an encounter card because I've emptied my deck. Oh, okay. So what have we got here? Three, four, five. Let's just sort these out a little bit. Five on there. So, um, one threat on the main scheme. Plus, um, I think I'm going to take the damage. But an additional threat goes on the main scheme for this one here. To nine, then um, Housemaster is going to attack me. So I am going to not defend this for two, three, and I'm going to play my shield block. Four. So I'm taking four damage, but interrupt this event with my shield block. When you would take any to damage, exhaust Captain Maker's shield prevent all of that damage, so prevent all four of that damage. Now I'm not sure if this retaliate would then trigger because this card is exhausted. I don't think it would. So I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to do that. Um, Baron Zemo is then going to attack me, but I'm going to defend against that as well. Um, it's got three attack, I've got two, three defense. Again, I'm not sure if this one defense hit counts, but it doesn't matter anyway, because he's only got three attack. And I'm going to play counter punch. So after your hero defends against an enemy attack, deal damage that enemy equal to your hero's attack. For two. So Baron Zemo is gone. Now I didn't take any damage, so I can exhaust unflappable. Draw a card, which is heroic strike. Good. And after your hero defends, discard indomitable to ready my hero. So I'm ready, ready back up again. And the counter punch is gone. Um, I do need an encounter card and an encounter card for empty my deck. So, attach the Taskmaster. Taskmaster gets Retaliate 1. Exhaust my hero and spend physical and mental resource to discard this card. Okay, that's not too bad. Another captured by Hydra. It's another minion. Another ally has been captured. Another acceleration token. I've got one here as well. So I need to get rid of some of these, I think, because otherwise that threat is going to mount up. Very quickly. Hmm. 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 Oh, where am I going to get my heroic strike out? I just. Oh, potentially I can. I'm going to get my ally back out again for three uh, for zero cost, but three health after you. After I play Shang Chai from my hand, I can spend a lightning resource, an energy resource. Sorry. Stun the enemy, which I think I'm going to do, as that will stop an attack, which means I can't play my heroic strike now. But what I can do, uh, well, first off, I'm going to use my med team to heal another two damage. Nine. Do I have? I think I'm going to thwart for two. That's down to three now. I'm going to thwart with Captain America, bringing that down to one. Play my helmet to ready Captain America, and then thwart again to remove that from the game. And get another ally, which is White Tiger, which lets me do three thwart. And one attack after you play White Tiger, I can spend a mental resource to remove three threat from a scheme, which I don't have, but I can still play her. Um, I'm going to play her down here. So she comes on with three health. But I'm going to use her straight away to remove three threat from there. Whew. Very good. Cleared a lot of side schemes there. Yeah, it was a pretty good turn.
and I will ready everything up. You have a camera there. Wow, I've got a big, big selection of stuff here. It's good. So one threat on the main scheme. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna trap them. Put them out for a five and a five. I'm gonna take the damage for the force response instead of placing an additional threat because that is getting quite close. And then uh, Taskmaster is gonna tap me because he's stunned. We take the stun card away and then I get an encounter card. How does side arm attach the villain? Force into it. When attached, the villain attacks, the attack gains range. There's another plus one. So he's doing me for four damage each turn. Wow. Okay, I'm going to take him out quick. Oh, I also need to drop to my hand limit as well. Three, four, five. I should have drawn it to my hand limit at the end of my turn. Okay. So let's see what we can do. Six damage, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we might be able to actually take him out. So I'm going to play Heroic Strike. Um, which deals, well, I need to pay for it. I'm going to pay for it with my Super Soldier Serum and also Strength. So that's my three resources and it's also physical. So that's six damage. Six, he's down to five, and he's also stunned. Um, he does get retaliate though because of the shield, so I take a damage, it's fine. Um, I will attack for two, one, two, again, taking a damage from the retaliate. Then I will attack with Shang-Chi for two. Gets retaliate, takes out the ally. White Tiger will come in for the final attack. Retaliate. And Taskmaster stage two, with the help of some allies and a med team, keeping me in the game, has just taken down Taskmaster. He was stunned at the end there. Had a lot of stuff coming on here. This retaliate, attack gains range plus one attack, uh, attack gains piercing plus one attack was going to hurt me if I could not take him out. 10th threat on the main scheme, 8 of 12, getting very close to hunting down all the heroes, but we managed to take down Taskmaster. Good job, Captain America. Well done, your Super Soldier Serum there, helping you out in the end. So there you have it, another Marvel Champions Challenge in the bag, Captain America taking down Taskmaster. Again, this character, very thematic with that shield block and the shield toss. Um, I love how he, I love how he plays. These allies are pretty cool as well. That come out with the um, the Taskmaster scheme, and um, yeah, some of his helmets, his counter punches, and the shield blocks, and really play into his um, character. It's, the shield is is pretty good. The shield toss. Can just imagine him chucking that at Taskmaster to take him down, and all the other minions as well. Um, yeah, good fun, good deck. Enjoy that protection. I think works really well with Captain America and fits in with the theme of his. Um, his character as well so thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed that and be sure to check out my show notes down below and also hit that bell in the top and top right hand corner to subscribe if it's there and stay up to date with all of my content i don't just do marvel champions challenge videos i have other videos on my um, youtube channel as well so be sure to go and check them out and give them a watch drop me a like drop me a comment and if you want me to run any decks or any particular aspects and hero combinations, then drop me an email. Again, email will be in the show notes and I'll happily give them a go. So thank you very much. Have you a good day. Bye bye.